And new here at 1030 with the state Supreme Court opinion coming down today on the convicted killer Gerard Price. We're asking what could happen to Fifth Circuit solicitor Byron Gibson. The Supreme Court vacated the order that released Price from prison early. And the Supreme Court said today that they were, quote, greatly troubled by the lack of effort from Gibson and Circuit Court Judge Casey Manning in following the law and making sure the process to release Price was public. And with Judge Manning now retired, we spoke to the Attorney General about what's next for Solicitor Gibson and how he says the state failed. How do you build back the confidence and the trust in the state by people looking at this and saying it seemed like this backdoor deal was done? Well, again, my job as the chief prosecutor of the state is to ensure that his solicitors around the state adhere to the rule of law. In this particular case, the law was not followed to the letter. The solicitor should not have done what they did in this particular case. And the judge should not have signed the order because the law was not being followed. You know, it, it is my position that I was standing up on behalf of the state to say that that office that handled that particular case did so in an inappropriate, incorrect way. And we also believe that the judge, the lower court in this particular case, did it improper. And so we're grateful that the majority, uh, the three justices in the majority opinion agreed with us on that particular point. Obviously, we, there were a few other points we wish they would have weighed in on, but we respect the court's decision. We think it was the appropriate decision. Mr. Price should have never been let out the way that he was let out, and he deserves to spend the remainder of his term in prison for what he did 20 years ago. The judge has since retired. Solicitor Gibson is still in office. How can the public have confidence in the job he's doing? Well, I'm going to defer to the constituents in the Fifth Circuit. I'm not going to comment on that. That is a political question. My job as the attorney general was to enforce the rule of law, and that's what I did. We went before the state Supreme Court. We asked them to apply the law the way it should have been applied. The majority did that, and we're incredibly grateful for the majority's opinion in this particular case. Do you have trust in Solicitor Gibson? I mean, again, I'm not going to make comments one way or the other on individual solicitors or prosecutors. I think in this particular case, the solicitor uh, was wrong in his decision to do what he did. I think he recognizes that. I, I don't want to comment on behalf of my, my particular views. Again, for me, this is about the law. Uh, I'll let politics handle politics. My job as the chief prosecutor of the state is to ensure that the rule of law was followed and that the victim's rights were protected. And I'm very proud of the fact that our office was able to do that in this particular case. Uh, the, the victims, the parents of that young man who was killed 20 years ago, they deserve to have their rights protected. And I'm so grateful that that was done.